Good morning guys. It is Wednesday morning and I'm getting ready for work. And I, I was kind of thinking about a thing. When I was younger, I was, and especially when I lived in my old hometown, as I had so long uh, kind of time to work every morning, um, my kind of daily routine was getting up, getting dressed, getting out of the door. I usually had between 10 and 15 minutes from waking up until I left the apartment and was always so confused about people who had like really morning um, things they did in the morning you know some people like oh they sat and read the magazine for an hour before they got to work and stuff like that I was a bit confused why wouldn't people stay in bed when they can well, why would they do that and now I go up two hours before I go to work every morning and like today I am cooking lunch at the moment so that I have lunch in my box when I get to work I would never thought I would have done that just a couple of years ago so it's it's so strange how you get new routines when you get older yeah so that is what I'm doing right now I am cooking uh, potatoes and sausages for lunch. Um, I had some sausage left uh, in, in the fridge and I needed to eat that so I'm, I'm uh, frying the sausage and I have had uh, potatoes boiling for a while so they are done too. So that is going to be my lunch. My breakfast is going to be some sausage sandwiches which I'm doing at the same time. So yeah, good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Well guys, I am home. Um, I spent, actually I've been home a couple of hours because I finished my work day at home today. I'm tired and I'm kind of pain in my neck and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I feel a little bit other than the weather. But I'm probably just tired. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for you. I want you to enable me. Uh, I promised myself that I was allowed to buy a certain pen set when I have my birthday. And I have my birthday the 14th of April, so it's less than a month there. And uh, on the way home from work today, I choose to walk. Uh, so I went by the um, kind of creative store, one of the creative stores in the area. And I went in and I picked up the price of the pens and then I went online to look if I could find them cheaper because I had like I had an idea that I could couldn't find them cheaper so I went online and I checked uh, Amazon and on Amazon they were actually more expensive but I did however find the store that actually delivered them for um, I think like 20% off or 30% off and now here's my question should I wait until I have my birthday or should I give myself a pre-birthday present because it is it's something like 30% off so it's kind of good I don't know how long that price will last um, either some of them should I buy them or shouldn't I buy them I really want to buy them I think I'm gonna ask Christopher too I think he's gonna say you have to wait a couple of weeks more but they they're they're really really off the price is really really good um, the thing is uh, I work a lot with my Copics and I create with my Copics but I see out there people who use their polychromous, um, polychromous pencils to do awesome work. And I do have a, I think, 72 pen set of um, Prisma, Prisma pencils, Prisma color pencils. And I do have a 10 or 12 pen set of the polychromous. And the polychromous, um, the Prisma pencils are wax based and the polychromos are oil based and they are very similar but they do have a definite um, difference 
in their um, how how they lay down on paper you can actually layer a lot more with your polychromos than you can with your prismas so i kind of have wanted since i found that out um i have wanted to get the polychromos set and as i have the 12 pen set i really do want to have the full 120 pen set when it comes to the Prismacolor pens, I only have the 70 pen set, I think they have like 160 colors and there's a lot of colors that I miss and because of limitations in layering, I don't get the colors I want all the time. While with the polychromos you actually don't need all the 120 because you can layer them and get really cool, cool effects. But I thought they would be awesome to have, so I think maybe what do you think? Should I walk by them immediately? Maybe? It's kind of... Um, I'm trying not to buy that much craft supplies because they are expensive and I need to save up money but I promised myself I was allowed to have this for birthday present and Christopher bought his birthday present, he also had his um, birthday in April and he bought his in like December, I think. He uh, pledged for a Kickstarter or or an Indiegogo, one of those, um, for these cool little buttons that you can like add to clothes or, or anything that you can program to do specific things. Um, really, really cool things. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can uh, have it as make it an alarm for when you're like a girl who's out walking in the evening and there's a man coming behind you um you can have and you can have that alarm do different things depending on how many times uh how often you press the button stuff like that so i think it was really really cool you can actually make it um automatically call 911 for you on your phone so if you have your phone on you in a way that they would hear you you can actually automatically call 911 if, if you get attacked and they would hear it all so that's kind of that's kind of cool so he got a whole bunch of those because he wanted to try them out and you can program them for a whole bunch of things and us being developers that is a fun thing i think he has six or eight buttons but anyway so he already has bought his birthday present but they haven't arrived yet because they have delivery somewhere in April but this would arrive pretty 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 fast because I think delivery is day after or they send out things one to two days after depending if they if they have it in, in stock they do and on top of that um, it's in Sweden so it shouldn't take that long for delivery but I would really like those pens I have to see if I can convince Christopher to let me buy those. Yeah. It is evening, or it's it's uh, before dinner, and I'm waiting for Christopher to get home. And I thought maybe I sit down to color, or I sit down to edit a video. One or the two. We'll see. I have to um, at least get the video file. Uh, into the computer so I can start working on it. That is my day. I would rather go to bed and sleep, but it's a little bit too early. <laughs> I said, I'm tired today. It's one of those days. But I had a really great day at work anyway, and I'm in a very good mood, so that's good. Well, guys, it's evening and I'm gonna head to bed. I never got to do any coloring or anything like that today. I have been packing up all the giveaway prices into packages and putting the addresses on them. I still want to make like thank you cards or thank you notes for all of the packages. So I have to do that maybe tomorrow night or something so that I have something to send with them and write a little note to every person that won. I also have a bunch of packages that is going to go out um, that I've had on a little pile. 
I have some packages I'm supposed to send to friends and stuff that um, I just haven't finished packing. They are like almost filled in the boxes, but they're just not packed yet. Some of them will cost a whole bunch to ship, so that's also one of the reasons that they hadn't gone out of the apartment yet. But hopefully I will be able to fix that tomorrow. Right now I'm actually going to head to bed because I'm really really tired. I'm kind of beat. But there's a day tomorrow. Hopefully a better day tomorrow. And yeah. Even though I didn't do that much. I had a nice evening. Um, one of my... One of these uh, artists that I follow on on YouTube just hit 20,000 subscribers, so she had a giveaway, and a lot of art giveaways always are supplies, and I have a tendency to buy what I want and what I need, uh, so I usually don't enter those kind of challenges. But this time you actually get prints from her. Um, there were a whole bunch of prints. So I actually entered the challenge because I'm very, very interested in, in, in the prints. And on top of that, I actually pledged to her Patreon because I wanted some prints from her. So um, it's a good way to support uh, artists that you like. Um, if they have a Patreon, you can pledge to that. Um, there's one more Patreon that I have on my list to pledge right now. Um, and I have some that I might actually remove my pledges from. We'll see. It's all about how much money it is. Um, this was very, very easy because she has a monthly pledge. And I kind of like that better than a video pledge um, even though the pledging usually is for YouTube um, I kind of like like it that the the person the, the patreon creator usually can set up its patreon to kind of yeah I promise to do this many videos a month on my channel but still you pledge a certain amount a month while um, I follow some some musicians and there you pledge per song for example uh, and that can be everything from two to four or even more songs a month and sometimes that is I don't know how much money that will be drawn and when it's a couple of dollars per song I think that's totally okay but when you start coming up in the 20 10 20 dollar range i would rather pledge like 20 dollar a month than 20 dollar a song because that's way too much for me economically for me to actually um afford to do right now but i i pledged to her i actually go went up a couple of tiers also because um then I would get a small artwork of hers. I'm going, I th I'm thinking about transferring the wall I have here to be able to put up art um, and probably also put up art on the wall above my coping stand so I have some inspiration. I want more art. I want more, more color in my life. We have white walls. It can be a little bit boring sometimes but yeah I'm going to head to bed but um, good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite <laughs>